Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Welcome to another edition of our Drone Weekly News Roundup. This week, we're going to talk about a new US-made public safety drone from a company called Skyfire, then drones being used to monitor a bottlenose dolphin population, and finally, a cool project out in Reno, Nevada that involves flying drones beyond visual line of sight. Let's jump in. Skyfire recently launched the SF-2, a US-made drone for public safety applications. The SF-2 is tough and resilient. It's built for harsh environments and uses carbon fiber and aerospace-grade aluminum. And it can carry an impressive array of payloads. Skyfire lists 10 different uh, cameras sensors, but the drone is actually payload agnostic. In making this drone, Skyfire has drawn from more than 10 years uh, of experience working with public safety agencies to help them create their drone programs. They helped the Chula Vista Police Department, which is arguably the top police department drone program in the US, to secure a beyond visual line of sight waiver and to create their very first drone as first responder program. The program deploys a drone automatically to the scene of 911 calls, providing aerial data as officers travel to the scene so they can have the benefit of situational awareness before arriving. I think it's so cool that Skyfire used their findings from consulting public safety agencies with their drone programs to manufacturing on their own. We have high hopes for this drone and are looking forward to seeing more of them out in the field. Next up, researchers from the University of Aberdeen in the UK have found a way to determine whether bottlenose dolphins are pregnant using drone imagery. The approach is actually pretty straightforward and involves measuring the width of a dolphin's body using aerial photos. Previously, researchers only knew if female bottlenose dolphins were pregnant if they were later seen with a calf. As a result, they only knew about successful pregnancies. They didn't know how many pregnancies failed or how many calves died before they saw them. Why is this all important? It's important because reproductive success is key to population's growth, but it's challenging to measure that in wild populations. By using aerial photos, this will allow researchers to routinely monitor changes in reproductive success in this protected dolphin population. Similar studies have been conducted for larger whales as well as other endangered species. Okay, lastly, Iris Automation has received permission from the FAA to fly drones autonomously beyond visual line of sight or BV loss. The waiver was secured through the company's involvement in the FAA's Beyond program, which is focused primarily on testing BV loss drone operations. Iris Automation got the waiver in partnership with the city of Reno and the Reno Fire Department, who plan to use it for getting key aerial data during dangerous water rescues. This waiver is an important step in achieving autonomous flight, first testing over unpopulated areas before it can move to urban areas. The waiver covers a rural unpopulated area south of Reno for the use of its advanced detect and avoid solution, Cassia X. Reno Fire Chief Dave Cochran stated, getting to BB loss is a significant milestone for search and rescue missions, as well as for the safety of our employees. Drones allow us to launch into flight safely at a moment's notice with new and more effective approaches to making our downtown river corridor safer while also saving time and money. By incorporating drones into our river rescue protocols, including the use of BBLOS technology and infrared technology, we can make those rescues safer. We can more quickly identify the location of the victim and deploy our rescue resources directly to that location. This accomplishment provides a blueprint for other fire departments, public agencies, and enterprises to utilize drones. This is a very exciting project, and we look forward to hearing about more projects from others in the FAA Beyond program. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below in the description to read more. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, to all of you drone pilots out there, wishing you blue skies and safe flying.